Little Sisters. It's Monday and we have got news, news and a little bit more news for you today. So the usual then. Marnie Simpson and Lewis Bloor have been spotted having another row while holidaying in Dubai. Earlier this week, the Georgie Shaw star flew to the Emirates city with Lewis to salvage some sort of relationship. But the rekindling may have not gone to plan on the trip, as an onlooker caught the two arguing. Basically, while Lewis sat there topless, Marnie came out screaming at him, whilst also accusing him of stealing her credit card. And so she slapped him. As you do. The onlookers said the couple were definitely drunk and it seemed like Marnie had thrown red wine over Lewis. It was certainly a scene, but after Lewis shared his side of the story, it turns out that it was an aftermath of an argument they had earlier on and partly a misunderstanding. To summarise in his own words, there are two sides to every story. Kylie Jenner crashed a school prom. You know when you ask Kylie Jenner as your prom day and she actually turns up? Yes. No, wait, what? Students at the Rio Americano High School in Sacramento were treated with the real dream as the Jenna turned up with her bestie Jordan Woods to their school prom. Apparently the Keeping Up With The Kardashian star was the date of student Albert Ochoa, who reportedly asked Kylie as his date after he was initially rejected. Videos and many, many tweets were posted online looking like everyone was having a great time. Including Kylie. As the reality star was homeschooled up until her graduation in 2015, she never got to live out a real life prom. So maybe prom is where dreams come true. Now I'm gonna go call Ryan Gosling and ask him to come to my prom. You don't go to school. He doesn't need to know that. Harry Styles may miss out on the number one spot because of the Spotify glitch. The Spotify malfunction meant many of his fans couldn't find his song, Sign of the Times, to listen to when they searched for it. Which I actually found myself and ended up having to turn to YouTube to find it. So even though Styles' track is thought to have topped the official charts for sales and downloads, it's believed to possibly lose out on the number one spot when the online streaming stats are published. A Spotify spokesperson has confirmed the glitch was a technical issue for both free and premium users, though there should not be a problem now. But as you can imagine, Imagine it would be very frustrating to hear if you're Harry Styles. And if anything, I think you should take it as a sign <clears throat> to listen to Sign of the Times. Get it? Really bad panamania. Really bad. Pete Wicks has insisted that he will keep his Megan McKenna tattoo on his hand despite their split. The Towie couple broke up last month after a year of dating, which first started out as a civil parting but then slowly descended into a bitter breakup. And despite this, Pete is confident that he won't remove the end tattoo on his hand because it's a memory. Wicks originally got the tattoo back in December as he tried to win Megan back following his sexting scandal. But it seems that sometimes things don't always last forever. Unless it's a tattoo. Because that does quite literally last forever. Pete does know that, right? I'm not actually sure. So that's it for our news. The moral of the day is to think before you get inked. And that's why I'm not getting your initials. Because you're breaking up with your sister? Yeah, um, about that. <laughs>